Every May, the atmosphere across the plains and Midwest transforms. Warmth surges north from the Gulf. Powerful jet streams carve paths of instability. And the potential for tornadoes, some strong, some long track, begins to rise. Welcome to the May 2025 tornado forecast. Today, we'll walk through the risk zones revealed by climatology, analog patterns, and the latest atmospheric signals. We'll cover what areas are most at risk, how this may could unfold, and why staying prepared is more important than ever. Let's dive in. To understand the future, we have to look back. Every year, May reigns as the peak month for tornadoes in the United States. Texas, Kansas, and Oklahoma consistently lead the nation thanks to the perfect collision of Gulf warmth, dry air from the Rockies, and active jet streams. This historic setup has shaped Tornado Alley and it remains a guiding light for forecasting the season ahead. Large-scale climate patterns shape how active or quiet a season becomes. In 2006, we transitioned from a weak La Nina to neutral Enzo, exactly what models suggest is happening now. Neutral years often allow the jet stream to stay powerful across the plains, opening the door for frequent storm systems. This background creates the conditions needed for multiple severe weather episodes. But Enzo isn't the only piece of the puzzle. Oscillations like the Madden-Julian Oscillation, the Arctic Oscillation, the North Atlantic Oscillation, and the Pacific North American Pattern, or PNA, all influence storm tracks and severe weather chances. In early May, the NAO and AO are forecast to be slightly positive, but could trend slightly negative by mid-month. Meanwhile, the PNA index is expected to start negative early in May, then transition towards slightly positive or near neutral levels by early to mid-month. Overall, these signals suggest opportunities for active storm periods, especially across the plains and Midwest. Temperature and precipitation outlooks add more evidence. Warmer than average temperatures are forecast across the plains, the west, and the southeast, enhancing instability. Moisture availability looks solid too, especially across the central and southern plains early in the month. Warmth plus moisture, the basic ingredients that fuel springtime tornado outbreaks, appear to be lining up. The jet stream will play a huge role in shaping May's storm potential. Forecasts show a strong, neutral tilted trough digging into the southern plains to start May, an ideal setup for large-scale lift and storm organization. However, models suggest the pattern may weaken around mid-month as planetary influences shift, before potentially reloading again later in May. The atmosphere looks active early, with a wait-and-see mode for how strong it recharges later. When we zoom in on early May setups, it's classic severe weather territory. Strong instability, solid wind shear, and rich gulf moisture converge across the southern plains. As moisture surges northward, the threat zone could expand into the central plains. Early May looks primed for organized supercells capable of producing tornadoes, hail, and damaging winds, especially if shortwave timing lines up correctly. History once again points to the danger zones. Over decades of records, tornadoes, and especially strong tornadoes, concentrate heavily across the southern plains and western Midwest. Texas, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, Iowa, and Missouri consistently light up the maps year after year. These are not coincidences. They're the result of geography, climatology, and repeating springtime patterns. And this year could be no different. Analog years are powerful forecasting tools, and May 2001 stands out. That year, strong gulf moisture and an active jet fueled widespread tornado outbreaks from the plains into the Midwest and Southeast. The drivers shaping up for May 2025, a neutral Enzo, favorable MJO phases, and strong subtropical jets mirror that historic season. If these ingredients align, May could be an above-average month for tornado activity. 
May 2006 is another strong match. That year, neutral Enzo conditions, active MJO phases, and strong moisture return led to several high-impact severe weather days across the Southern Plains and Midwest. Together, 2001 and 2006 suggest May 2025 may feature multiple rounds of severe weather, especially if storm systems can tap into deep gulf moisture and favorable jet dynamics. Here's the May 2025 tornado potential map. The highest potential for tornadoes is centered across the southern plains, Oklahoma, Kansas, and North Texas, where strong and long track tornadoes are most favored. Moderate potential stretches across parts of the plains and into the western Midwest. An enhanced potential extends into the central plains, high plains, and portions of the Midwest, areas where moisture, lift, and jet stream support could set the stage for clusters of severe storms. To wrap it all up, the overall setup heading into May 2025 supports an increased potential for tornadoes, especially early in the month, with signs that additional activity could return later on. Neutral Enzo conditions, favorable jet stream positioning, and supportive oscillations all hint at an active season, particularly across the plains and Midwest. Forecast confidence remains moderate. The ingredients are there, but short-term patterns will ultimately decide the final outcome. If you enjoyed this outlook and found it helpful, be sure to give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss future updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.